Hi, it's Rosie Kate Diva, and I've got a bit of a basket case this week, literally. Loads of flowers, tons of cake, and a great big edible basket. Dead easy, but takes forever. But I've condensed it down just for you. Here's how. I'm just using a template to size up my board. Loads of vanilla cake, tons of buttercream, and some gorgeous white chocolate ganache. I'll pop a link to the white chocolate ganache recipe just down below. A quick brush with sugar syrup before putting on the fondant. I do like a prepared board, I think it makes the cake look so much better. If you want to see how I did this tile effect in more detail, I'll put another video up on my channel. And now I get to play with the basket weave. And check this out, this is my favourite tool, this is my extruder gun. I fill it with fondant and look, out the other side, perfect for my basket weave. You can roll it by hand, but takes forever and this is so much cooler. I'll pop the details down below, but look, love it. I start with a couple of vertical strips. You can do one, but I'm doing doubles, hoping it will take less time. Then I'm placing some horizontal strips. Again, I'm doing two at a time just for this particular pattern. I'm leaving a space each time and I'm just going all the way up. To get that rustic look, I'm just adding a little texture as I go with a veining tool. And I'm painting a wash with edible luster dusts using a little black and brown and white. Once I get to the top, I'm going to put two more verticals down and then carry on the same pattern in the alternate spaces. But don't let us fool you, this takes forever. This should come with a public health warning. Don't try this unless you literally have no life like me. No life, just basket weave. And a couple of final horizontals and hallelujah, it's a wrap. Could have just bought a basket of flowers really. It saved me a lot of time. So I've still got to do my second tier and I've got it ready. I've used some florist wire wrapped with edible wafer paper and that's going to be my handle. Popping the cake on and getting it ready, I've just kept a stepped effect here, which will help me to support my flowers later on, and getting it covered in fondant so it's all nice and protected. I've used some dowels under there to support it because it's getting heavy, and I'm just wrapping the handle and finishing off the edges. I'm just taking the chance to put a bow on. If I use flower paste or gum paste, that's going to set nice and hard so it can keep its lovely shape. And now I can play with the flowers. If you'd like to see me do these flowers in more detail, just pop down below in the comments which one you'd like me to do and I'll do a video for you. Would you like to see the roses? Or the irises? Or perhaps the lysianthus buds? They're my favourite. I think they look cute. I've got tons of flowers that I've prepared earlier and tons of leaves and I need all of them. Those flowers that are totally edible can go on with some sugar glue and fondant. Those flowers that are wired, I can't put them straight in, that would be bad. Nope, we don't do that. We put them into a posy pick first, which keeps them nice and clean. So the wires go into the posy pick and then the posy pick goes into the cake. I must be the slowest flower arranger out there because this took forever. But finally, here it is, my basket of flowers cake. So pop your choice below in the comments, rose, iris or bud, and I'll get filming it for you. 
Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.